Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 7 flu powder free play for Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. This actually is the beginning of year 2 and as you can see on the right hand side we get all the collectibles minus the one gold brick that we got for beating the story mode mission. We're going to go for that true wizard status of 50k and we also want to make note that it is important to have a dark arts or dark magic wizard available so that you can uh, take out the, uh, well, to get all the collectibles because you need them. So uh, we got Snape. You can use a couple of other guys, but uh, we've showed you where to get Snape. That being said, we've chose flu powder, and we're off. So here we are in the front yard out in front of Ron's place. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look around. And first, we're going to build the tractor up. Then we're going to notice there's a few of these gnomes on the ground out here. So go ahead and walk up to them, and you should be able to lift them with Wingardium Leviosa. And uh, once you get them up in the air, go ahead and tap the same button again, and it should start spinning them in a circular fashion. And each one has a little bit of a cinematic uh, awesomeness that happens once you spin them around. So go ahead and give them the old wee. This guy, this guy thinks he's uh, evil Knievel over here riding out on a motorcycle. Uh, we're going to get some studs each time we uh, do this. This guy, he's, uh, he's the auto mechanic of the group. Every gnome family has a mechanic, as you probably know. I don't know, I'm just making that up. Anyways, uh, you're going to make your way all the way over and around to the kind of the front right side of the house to find the final gnome. Like I said, there was a total of, what, six or seven of them? And look at that. Boom. Slam dunk. Bam. Six of six. And uh, we get the red crest for doing that. And right in front of the basketball hoop, there are a bunch of bouncing bits. We'll go ahead and build those up and do a pumpkin mobile. You're going to go ahead and roll this guy around. You could probably use the tractor just as well. I didn't try it, but uh, I would imagine any rolling vehicle in this area would be able to uh, pop these carrots up. So pop them like the hive. Pop them like the hive. Bloop. And uh, all right, so there are seven carrots in total. And what we're going to do is kind of get uh, all of them planted. And they all take off like rockets. So some sort of carrot bottle rocket thing going on here. Basically walk up to them. They should uh, kind of give the glow like there is Wingardium Leviosa abilities available. And go ahead and make it happen. So go ahead and repeat this process over and over and over. Seven times to be exact. And once you get the seventh one, you'll actually get the second house crest. And it's actually the yellow one. So, oh, to the ad, jump up and grab that guy. And uh, now we're going to head on over to the back right corner behind the basketball hoop. And pull out one of your digging characters. We happen to use the old Crookshanks, the pussycat. And uh, we'll go ahead and dig it up and get a character token. George Weasley! And okay, so a couple more things that you can smash and grab some studs. We're, uh, we got the two times multiplier on, so we don't really need to grab everything, but uh, it is good to have lots of studs. So, Anyways, we're going to do a little roll on the tractor because we love tractors. John Deere, go for life, yes! All right, <laughs> roll into the house now, and inside we got a few dishes that need to be done. So we're going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa a couple of times. We have to smash open these books, too, to free up the owl here, which... Uh, rolls across, and uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what he opens up, but do it. You'll get some studs. And then, uh, like I said, make the table. Wingardium Leviosa. Make the sink go bubbly-boo. And then there's some dishes for you to do. And it's a nice little cinematic scene, though. You don't have to do a whole lot other than just be there and use your eyeballs to watch it. All right, once you get them all washed, go ahead and put them on the table. Collect all the studs, including there's a blue one in the pocket over there on the far right side. I don't think I've got it yet. Maybe I did. Anyways, uh, there are a couple of more items over here that puke out some studs. Oh, nope. See, I didn't get that blue stud. There it is. Oh, yeah. And Hermione's going to do some more magic over here. Wingardium Leviosa to check under the seat cushions. There's always a few items under there. Luckily for us, it wasn't just a bunch of toaster leavings. Anybody know what toaster leavings are? That's old school right there. Anyways, uh, we're going to need to go ahead and uh, switch on over to Jenny. And uh, once we have Jenny selected, we can go ahead and wave to the frame up there. Hello. And they kick down with a special item here. We're going to use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and start the fire here. We didn't stop the fire. It's actually not a fire. It's some sort of a, a spell that allows us to... Teleport! 
Oh, yeah. All right, so now we are inside a shop. I, I, I'm having a brain fart here. I don't remember the name of the shop. And in the front left corner of that said shop, you're going to use uh, Reducta to go ahead and bust open. That's like a fang treasure chest. And you can actually drop down inside of it. And uh, once you get down there, switch to your dark magic wizard and go ahead and blast the orb in the front side there and get the third house crest. Now up top, use Reducto again to go ahead and blast the lock on the other kind of treasure chest over there. It's more of a cabinet, I guess. And uh, the student in peril comes out. Yay! So we've uh, freed that student in need. And here we go. We're just getting some extra studs here. I wasn't exactly sure what was going on there. But uh, it's kind of like at the fair when you go and you shoot the water guns into like the balloon, the clown mouths, and the balloon fills up on their head. And it's kind of like that, but uh, with Wingardium Leviosa instead of uh, instead of water. All right, so here we're gonna need to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and use the broom and clean off all the debris on that mirror there. We're also going to need to go ahead and build up the cloud, which is right behind this little fish tank here. It makes it rain in there, and these fishy fishy swim around. And at this point, we can actually jump over on the right-hand side, and there is a dark magic cabinet over here. So go ahead and target it and make it go blammo and grab that character token. Now uh, we have opened up. You can see in the reflection of the mirror, there is a strong man hook there. So we're going to go ahead and pull it with Hagrid. And then we're going to use Leviosa to build up this giant sword over here. And then once we get it all built, pick up all the studs and lift it up in there. You might have noticed we did get the true wizard status too. There was quite a few blues hanging out over kind of near that uh, dark magic cabinet. So make sure you hop over there and grab those. And uh, once you lift up that sword for the wizard, he slays the dragon and kicks down with the key. That allows us to exit the building. So exit, stage right. Okay, now we're over here in Diagon Alley. I believe that's where we are. And uh, we're going to go ahead and destroy all these little uh, jack-in-the-boxes. And one of them actually gives us the handle that we can Wingardium Leviosa over to the side, which builds up the strongman handle. Once we pull the handle with Hagrid, it actually drops some studs and folds up the pathway blocker into a, a little treasure chest, and it disappears. So that was very handy. Now, you might remember from the story mode, uh, there were some bits on the right-hand side as you're moving down the alley here that you are allowed to build up and it actually builds a little staircase up to a level that you can't get to because of some dark magic. So we're going to go ahead and bust it open since we know how to perform the dark arts. And uh, it actually gives us access to that fourth house crest. Now, we could see it before. It was teasing us. And there are a few more studs to grab. Like I said, we're not getting them all. But uh, we're getting pretty close, and there's a treasure chest on the left-hand side of the alley. You're going to go ahead and have to just blast it open. I think Reducto will do just fine. And last but not least, there is one more strongman handle at the end, and that's it, ladies and gents. A blip, a blip, a blip. That's all, folks. So uh, all three character tokens accounted for. Booyah, kashow. And uh, all four house crest pieces. Booyah, kashow. Notice I'm breaking it down. And a hundred percent. I won't. I won't. Uh, I won't break that down into a hundred. That'd be weird. And all right. So plenty of studs. We are over three quarters of a million. It'll be fun to see what we can buy. I'm sure there's going to be some more red brick multipliers in our future. And student in peril saved. Yay! A couple gold bricks as promised. And then of course it gives us the cue to exit. So. Oh, to the yeah, that's going to do it for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Level seven, flu powder, free play. So, hey, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, we hope we provided a little bit of information for you, made things a little bit smoother on your journey to 100%. If we did, hey, why don't you stop by one of our social networks, say hey, thank you, maybe give us a suggestion how we could get better. Facebook, Twitter, comment down below. We also have G+, Twitch, and Instagram, as well as HappyThumbsGaming.com, the home of our gaming and product reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guide. So uh, we don't do a lot of trophy achievement guides these days. We certainly focus on Lego games uh, for the most part, and we didn't do one for this uh, particular Lego Harry Potter. I might be able to talk Dougie into a 5 through 7, but uh, we are planning on doing the new ones, Lego Dragon. Jurassic, uh, Lego, uh, Marvel, Age of Ultron, and uh, who knows what else. So, But yeah, that's it. So, hey, get out of here. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. As always, until next time.
for reals this time. That's all, folks. See ya.